HRB, and the bench media with some more disappointing news. Major League Baseball has done us the honor of taking the Negro League statistics and putting them into their statistics, further erasing more black history. I understand a lot of people say, hey, man, they're getting validated. They're respecting us. But who are they to determine if we, we get respect or not? Negro League All-Stars are some of the base, best baseball players in the history of the world. And all we have to do as a black community is stop being lazy and look into it. Negro League Museum, Kansas City, Missouri. If you're in Chicago or the Midwest, you can drive to it. We don't need to be incorporated anymore. Integration has done a bang-up job for us, right? That's why we lost a lot of our educators. We lost a lot of our schools. We lost a lot of our businesses, a lot of our home and ownership. We lost a lot of things with integration. So at some point, black people, we are going to have to step away from the ass kicking machine and stop feeding the quarters and wonder why our asses are hurting. It's because we keep integrating into mainstream America. We don't need to integrate. Remember, it was this in the 70s. It was this one superstar, him and his four brothers. They were doing the best. They were our champions. And he became Michael Jackson, and he and he instantly got lighter and lighter and lighter, and no long, now he's no longer with us. Stop integrating. Look, we are living in this country. We don't hate anybody. We don't need validation. It's about 45 to 60 million of us in this country. If we work together, we could be the most powerful community in the United States of America and do our own thing, and people will try to integrate into us. It's a movie, but it was this one scene in the movie Five Heartbeats that every time I think about integration, I think about it. Crossover ain't nothing but a double cross. Why don't they ever cross over to us? Once we lose our fans, we'll never get them back. And how does that translate into this? Well, again, we're crossing over into, we're allowing them to take our history and incorporate it into theirs. And once we lose our history, we'll never get it back. Especially seeing how people like these women going through the South, I think they're called the Mothers of Liberty, they're dissipating 2,200 black history books, LBGTQ books and things of that nature because they don't like them. So what happens when we allow them to control our history? It won't be there and we won't be able to prove it was. And in the bench media, HRIB, I'm out. Subscribe on YouTube. T H A E N D O F D A B E N C H. Thank you.